look at that water line, it really tells the story of how high the houses saw water in this area. Right now, we're south of Atlantic. We're on uh, Branch Street. That house is the corner of Branch and Bryant. So that is an indication of just how much flooding, how much water these houses are seeing. As Dave kind of pulls back out again, you can see this boat here. Uh, this is actually a few houses away from where the boat started out, and these are not waterfront homes, uh, although the water is now in the front of these homes. But if you take a look at the opposite corner, what's right across the street from the house that you saw that water damage, take a look at what's left. This fire um, is actually two different uh, fires that, that burned here in Freeport uh, in one house. Uh, the first one started in the afternoon, the, the other one overnight, and unfortunately, the volunteer firefighters here were not able to get to this blaze to put the fire out, and, and if you take a look, it's still smoldering at this hour. All that's left really is the foundation there and the chimney. Joining me live right now is, uh, is Mark, who decided to stay in your house, and you live just, just a short bit away from here over on west side correct yes all right so talk to me about what it's been like for you uh this is nothing like what irene was this is probably three times the amount of water inside these houses that irene was and each one of these houses from front to back is thoroughly soaked and you're talking tens of thousands if not up to a hundred thousand dollars per household down here and what was it like on your block what was it like as the water started coming in what did you do uh, my wife wanted to put a towel in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a towel was going to cut it, right? I knew it. No, it actually it bubbles up from underneath, so uh, we have electric radiant heat in the house, and that got shot, and then the new tile floors, and it just rises up from the bottom once it comes up through the uh, through the sewers, and it's a mess. And right now we're not at high tide. I'm looking at this guy uh, who's trying to make his way through. Just so you know, it gets deeper. It gets deeper, buddy. It gets deeper, and it's still coming in. High tide is not here yet. We're, we're still about 40 minutes away, and, uh, you know, we've seen a couple of people have to abandon their cars, uh, so we're, we're trying to just heed that warning to people who are trying to go and check out their houses, and, and I understand it. You want to see, you know, the condition that your house is in. How many of your neighbors are still there, Mark, and, and, and what are they doing? There's four of us, and we're all in communication with each other so that if anybody's got an extenuating circumstance, they can get out. But Freeport Fire and Freeport Police have been outstanding. They came through with a uh, about a 20-foot-tall payloader at about 3 o'clock this morning, asking anybody if they wanted to get out. They would put them in the bucket and bring them to dry ground. Uh, Freeport Fire Department, there had to be at least 40 guys on this house when they thought they had it extinguished the first time. But with the electric current running through the line, still it probably reignited on something else in the house. So. Yeah, because if you take a look here, um, you know, those those lines are all down. Well, that, that fire burned last night with flames that were over 25 feet tall. Nobody could get down here with any equipment because, as you see the rising water again, um, I'm going to have to pull these waders all the way back up to get back to my house at this point. Right, just you walking through the water here, I saw it, it went over your boots and, and onto your sweatpants. Yeah, well, I've adjusted twice, and now I'll put them all the way up and walk home, but yes. So, so how do you start to clean up? Where do you go from here? Call the insurance company, call FEMA, get a good squeegee, push it all out, take a lot of pictures, keep good records, and then just start cutting the sheetrock and out and the, uh, the contaminated insulation, um, mildew side down or bleach, and start to rebuild. All right, good luck to you. Thanks so much for talking good to us, day, Mark. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Again, we're live here in Freeport, and I, I just want to kind of give you a, a clear indication of the water. Actually, as Mark makes his way across the street there, as he has to uh, pull his boots up, and uh, you see just how much water we're talking about right now, um, especially towards the center of the street. It really drops down there. Again, this is, uh, by Mark, Branch and Bryant Street, and again, you have that house there, and, uh, you know, firefighters telling me that they were just unable to get to the house when the, when the second call came in that that house was burning, and they just were unable to get down to it because there was so much water in this area, and I think you can see the water lines. Actually, uh, my photographer